Post-traumatic stress disorder impacts thousands of soldiers and veterans every year, and this month raises awareness about the struggles that many people face. Good morning, I'm Bain Froney. And I'm Paige Ellenberger. One veteran has not only overcome his trauma, but he's now working to better his community. And he says that without his business, he may not have been here today. Barbecue did save my life. Steven Rossler, a husband, father, veteran, and expert when it comes to barbecue. It means family, uh, it means gathering, it means um, uh, camaraderie. It takes me back to a time um, before the military uh, when I, I, you know, it was uh, just a child, just, you know, it just, it just means so much to me. Rossler learned the ins and outs of cooking when he was just a kid, when his dad would barbecue every Sunday. He instilled you know, the basics in me, and that's what allowed me to get better anyways. When Rossler was serving in the military, he brought his skills with him, spreading his love of barbecue. All the single soldiers, we'd get together and, you know, we'd just barbecue and sit around and, you know, we'd get done with a field or, or you know, whatever exercises we had or deployment. But Rossler experienced trauma overseas, both physically and emotionally, which eventually turned into PTSD. We lost four guys pretty quickly uh, into our deployment. I struggled with a lot, about a, a year and a half that I just, I was lost. And his mental health was not only beginning to take a toll on himself, but his relationship with his wife. I was having a lot of issues and she's like, if you can't figure this out, like, I'm gone. Like, we're gone. Uh, and I figured it out really quick. It was then that he knew he needed to seek professional help and put his energy into the one thing that helps bring him peace. Seeing what he's been able to go through and then to have this and be able to find a way out of that darkness of where he could be and where he has been before, like, it's amazing. And by fighting that darkness, he's pursued his dreams of creating Rossler's Blue Cord Barbecue. So for us, it's like, it saved us. Like, it gave us something that we both love and then like, he pushes me, I push him. And while some days Rossler still struggles, he knows that by doing what he loves, he's honoring the soldiers that never made it home. I get to show love and support to them. You know, I get to follow my dreams because they did. Now you can usually find Rossler's blue cord over in Harker Heights by Smile Doctors Orthodontics. But for a precise location and hours for each day, you can always find that information on their Facebook page.